Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an opacity map for hair on eye imaging. Um, this is very, I'm going to call it simple once you know it. Um, it. It is much easier if you know how to use the pen tool, but um, I'm going to assume that most of you don't know how to use it because it's kind of um, hard to get used to. Um, also, please excuse my voice. I've had a cold the past few days. Okay, so first we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to just change this to Pixels if yours is not already at Pixels. And we're going to go 256 by 256, 72 pixels per inch, and we're going to go with the transparent background. Click OK. Um, now that we have this, um, we're going to fill the, this layer with black. And then we're going to create, go down here and create a new layer, which I already did. Um, so we have this one is called layer 2, obviously. Um, then we're going to switch up our colors and we're going to make white a foreground color. And then we are going to use our rectangular marquee tool. And we're going to bring the marquee tool about, actually I'm going to go a little bit shorter, just go um, about here, so about three quarters of the way. Go to your paint bucket tool over here, make sure it's on the paint bucket tool, and then plug fill this area with white. Go to select, deselect. And now I'm going to go down to my zoom tool and just make sure that it's on the zoom instead of, um, actually on zoom in instead of zoom out. And just zoom in once or twice, whatever you want. I zoom in twice. Now we're going to go to our smudge tool. And the smudge tool is going to be under this one. Um, just do this thing that's like a little finger. And I'm going to put it at the goal of 7 pixels. And it doesn't really matter if it's soft or not. So just um, when you get, I need you to go here with your smudge tool. And then just start doing things like this. You don't have to be perfect about it because we'll fix it. But just make sure that there's no perfectly horizontal lines left. And I kind of smooth out everything. And don't worry, we're not done yet. Okay, okay so now that we have that done, um, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Make sure that it's set at 90 degrees, and I'm going to go with a distance of, I'm going to try 20, actually I'm going to try 34, okay that looks good, click OK, and obviously it's not quite um, fine enough, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go to our zoom tool and we're going to click on the minus sign, the zoom out part, and we're just going to I'm going to zoom out just the once, and then I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale, and I'm going to bring this, make it a little bit smaller so that these um, these strands are finer, like real hair. So go to your width up here, W, and put that 50%. Okay, and then press Enter. Go to your Move tool and hold down your Shift key. And then left click on the um, on this layer and just drag it over here. It'll kind of snap there. And then I need you to go down to the layer again, right click, duplicate the layer, click OK. Then hold down your shift key again and left click, drag it over. Don't worry about this part here. Oops. Just pretend I didn't do that. Um, don't worry about this little line here, I'm going to fix that. Then go um, 
to Layer 2 Copy, right click and merge down. Then go to Layer 2 again, or the Duplicate Layer. And then merge it down. And I think this could be a little bit finer, so I think I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale, 50%. That looks much better. I probably could have originally changed this to 25% instead of doing 50% twice, but I didn't really pay attention to how fine the strands looked, so I just had to do it this way. Um, drag it over again by holding down the Shift key and clicking the left mouse button. Go over to Layer 2, right click, Duplicate Layer, click OK. Hold down the Shift key and left click and drag this over again. Again, don't worry about that part there. Right click on Layer 2 Copy, click Merge Down. Then right click on Layer 2, click Duplicate Layer. And then right click Merge Down. I know it's a lot of right clicking, but that's okay. Um, and just say you want this to be a little closer to the bottom edge, I'm going to show you. You probably already realized what to do, but in case you haven't, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Hold down your shift key again, and then left click on your mouse and just drag it down however much you want it. I will go with it about here. And then all you have to do, you don't even have to make any layer, go to your rectangular marquee tool again and just click on that and just select fill that with white. Select, deselect and save it as JPEG or PNG, um, and that's it. There's your baby hair opacity map. I hope that I've not confused you too much. Um, it's kind of getting a little bit late here, so I'm kind of getting tired too, but I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the comment box, and like and subscribe, please. Thanks for watching. Bye.